maximum of these coaches these days they don't deserve to be coaches if you go to a gym right now 9 out of 10 trainers you're going to see who are not in good shape do you feel like everyone should go to the gym a guy who is 10 on 10 in efforts but 6 on 10 in technique is going to beat the guy who is 10 on 10 on technique but 6 on 10 on effort how do you start beginning changing your mindset when you've been unhealthy all your life just start just start people think a lot so last year i had an accident i had a bike accident i broke my pelvic bone so in the beginning i didn't really know what it was so what happened i was lying flat on the road blood everywhere here and there so then i went i was admitted to a hospital i had my x-ray done and the doctor told me that 80% of your pelvic bone has cracked the pelvic bone is a big chunk 80% of it cracked and i was in the hospital for a week i had a i had a surgery done i had a plate eight screw six month bed rest what is your opinion on shila ji it's a scam i have been getting a lot of you know brand offers from this shila ji making companies they've offered me you can't even imagine the kind of money i've been offered six figure deals for one video i could have sold my soul and i could have done it but i'm not that guy all these influencers these guys are just making money and they just want to promote it just because they're making money and money blinds people Ethan, welcome to Infinite Health. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I was very inspired by your story. But for the audiences, Ethan, what do you do? Uh, I'm a fitness and mindset coach primarily, and I coach people online. I help them to get in the best shape physically and mentally. Right. And Ethan, I was so inspired when I saw your personal story and how you transformed yourself. But you know, there are so many people out there who are just beginning their health journey. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's, that's something I'm obsessed with. So where do you start? So not knowing what to do in the beginning is a complete lie. People do know what needs to be done. If you are eating like shit every day, if you are eating kachori sabzi and burgers, pizzas for you know breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you already know that's not what you should be doing. You already know you should be eating clean food. Okay, I understand that you don't have the complete knowledge like a professional, but at least you know that you need to eat your greens. You need to eat your protein. And what has protein? You can just Google it. And you don't even have to Google. I believe everybody knows chicken, eggs, paneer, soya bean. Everything is the basic stuff. People know that, yet they don't want to do it. They just want the perfect diet plan, the perfect uh, workout plan before even getting started. That's why people mess up. Like they want a quick fix. Yeah, and it doesn't exist. But do you think that there is a problem in mindset somewhere? Um, I believe mindset is something which needs to be inculcated. It needs to be developed. It's a practice game. It's a habit game. but the problem uh, the problem arises when people start uh, having false expectations from their own body so let's say a person who is like 120 kilos he didn't reach there on in just one day right he reached there in 5 years 6 years after 5 years of continuous eating like shit how can you expect yourself to lose all that body weight in just 2 months you don't want to put in the time so your expectations are very unrealistic that is why you give up pretty soon if you don't see the results in one week i'm done but you know my question is um, like if if someone doesn't reach that in 2 months and they give up mm. like how can one start changing their mindset there like what can we do to sort of build small habits or build a smaller mindset mm-hmm. to achieve smaller goals initially okay so what i believe is a uh, people should be looking up to people and listening to people who actually have what they want uh there are a lot of influencers a lot of people on the in in the industry right now who are giving out advices i'm not saying any advice is wrong any advice is right but you should be only listening to the person who is actually living the life that you want right if you want to make money if you want to be if you want to become a billionaire why are you listening to people who are already you are just driving toyotas you firstly that's wrong so you compare yourself from the person who you are looking up to who you want to become like you copy them that's all you have to do i'm sure if you just look at their habits you are going to understand there is a lot of things which you are not doing which they are doing which is the reason why they are there and you are here so for all the listeners where do you and how do you start beginning changing your mindset when you've been unhealthy all your life just start just start people think a lot just start just ma- what you can do is you can just go down for a walk 30 minutes 20 minutes that's the least you can do man you don't need your brains to work put in some headphones go walk talk to your girlfriend whatever walk for 30 minutes you're going to feel better you know you did something right it might not be the most efficient way but you did something right right and from there you just keep on building on the momentum once you have the momentum you don't stop and you keep on getting better fair enough but so do you feel like everyone should go to the gym it uh, depends but what i believe that yes everybody should be doing some sport some sort of resistance training even if you don't go to the gym even if you're just at home you can do some bodyweight exercises that is still resistance right 
you should be doing some resistance training and your body only grows through resistance if you just walk and run you're only going to lose weight your body once you dr- drop down all the weight again you have the same problem of not having muscles enough not having enough muscle so i have people coming to me who tell me that i was able to lose a lot of weight but i wasn't able to build any muscle because you did not do any resistance training if you just walk and jog and jog all your fat is going to lose you're not going to build any muscle so that's the thing so uh, ketan i just want to tell you my personal story yeah. because i was an extremely fat kid okay. i was 150 kg okay. and i've always been on this top seat of ride right? like you know like there are there are months where i'm extremely motivated mm-hmm. and then there are months where i don't want to do anything mm-hmm. i want to have a burger pizza mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. so you know but i keep coming back to it but my question really is that like if i had to build a basic habit line mm-hmm. like a a basic movement throughout the day mm-hmm. like then how would i go about it like uh, because it's not just about one hour of gym right yeah, it is yeah. about how you're moving throughout yes. the day so how would you suggest people start beginning changing their movements and like what are the basic things that someone can do that would help them okay so uh like you pointed out it's uh, one hour of workout is just one hour of the day out of the 23 hours that you have right so it's very important for you to keep on moving and be active right so what i would suggest is go and play some sports because when you're playing sports there is no count on steps you play till you pant that's what everybody plays like right and the next thing i would say that this is what i suggest to a lot of my clients because nowadays everybody has a very sedentary lifestyle everybody is just sitting on the laptop making money da 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 so what i would suggest is uh drink more water uh whatever access whatever you need to have access to on a uh, hourly basis let's say snacks or whatever you keep it away from you so firstly if you drink more water what are you going to do you're going to go to the washroom more right how do you go to the washroom you walk so if you were just going once now you are now you are going 10 times that is one whatever number of steps you were walking is into 10 without actually putting in any effort you don't feel it right second thing is let's say you i am a coffee fanatic i drink a lot of coffee so i don't like to keep coffee in my room i always keep it in the kitchen so i always have to go to get it so again i'm walking so th- these are like small habits which you can change small like these are hacks basically and this is just an example so it all depends on what kind of a lifestyle you have what do you exactly do now if you are somebody who is working in a warehouse then obviously your entire day you are walking and moving right so this is not applicable for you but this is very much applicable for somebody who is in office or working a sedentary job so this is like something you can do like you have to think out of the box a little how you can walk more but that's a very good hack like you know like <laughs> you can place the water in your kitchen yeah, or you can yeah, place the yeah. coffee yeah. actually i never thought about it because you know <laughs> mentally i'm so lazy that i want everything within my hands reach yeah that's like you know i was true. in manipal college and we had this rule that you know everything should be within your arms reach <laughs> so that you can get anything so you want so that's what is making everybody lazy nowadays or blinkit zomato it's it's all just so adding true. it to the no one even goes down to buy nobody water. nobody i was living in mumbai i had a i had a local store right below my home right below my home i used to order from blinkit i used to pay 20 30 extra you come up and you give me i don't care i'm not coming down but do you feel like this laziness has gotten inside the gen z and gen alpha like this because you know like nowadays fitness is rare like i i mean we are millennials right yeah. and, and like we lived in a generation where somewhat a larger percentage was fit and a smaller percentage was fat and now it's become the complete reverse jabki technology has become way more better and like you know more supplements are available mm. more information is available there are more fitness influencers do you think that laziness in some way has seeped in because of technology uh it's technology is a contributing factor but i would believe that the people who are out on the internet these guys are also not really promoting the true aspect of everything so i see like the kind of things i i talk on my channel like effort and everything i rarely see anybody talking about that even when say i am a fitness coach right so i see uh, all other rest of the coaches running ads and stuff you know what these guys talk in ads you don't have to follow a fancy diet you don't have to go to the gym you don't have to work hard how are you going to get these results if you don't work hard <laughs> so the whole wiring is like so different that people are so used to it that i don't have to work hard i'll just get it so that it doesn't work like that and then you know reality hits hard this is the worst information people can give someone that you don't have to work and become fit but it's it's there it's there if you just scroll instagram you'll see it but what do you say to these fitness influencers who are telling people not to work that hard and that there is a quick fix to something these guys are just here not to help you but to make themselves richer 
that's all they want because see the mass population don't want to work hard nobody wants to work hard. nobody wants to work who wants to who likes to go to office who likes to work 16 hours in a day not me but i still do because i know that needs to be done right only then you can build a successful business that i have and i am at the gym consistently for 8 years 9 years 10 years that is the reason why i have a body like this right so people don't want to share the hard parts because nobody likes to listen to say I, i'll give you an example so let's say i sit here and i say that you need 8 years to build a physique right i look at the camera you need 8 years to build a physique how many people are you, you know, how many people do you think are going to get wow what a thing he said right now if i say you just need 3 days to build a physique pay me money i'll teach you how who's getting richer me and who's getting dumber you <laughs> no that's very right. true i completely I agree with you yeah but then what's your philosophy like like there are you know nowadays like the world has become full of supplements mm-hmm. and devices and like you know those bands mm-hmm. trust me i've tried them all to you know make you slim yeah so what is your fitness philosophy then like what i mean what is the level of technology that you would want to use in your own coaching style and what is the level of naturalness that you would like to use uh so when it comes to technology and what i use when i coach my clients i am personally connected with them all the time right so i have my own setup i have a laptop and an external monitor and over in the external monitor all the time my telegram app is open this is where i deal with my clients so anytime anybody reaches out to me i'm always available right even if i'm in a meeting i still reply to them right that's the old reason why i had this external monitor thing and i believe that manually handling my clients is a lot better than just going into the tech aspect because just giving somebody diet plans and workout plans won't cut it if it did then google would have been you know google would have done everything for you you can just go to google and search what or give me a good diet plan it will give you a good diet plan right aajkal to chat gpt mein chat gpt mein workout plans aapko chat gpt mein mil jayega but wo accountability factor nahi milega aapko no that's true but what is the basic philosophy of food that you would have then like i mean do you give a range or do you give specific food to your clients ki like you know this is what you need to have or do you give a range okay, ki this so is what the way do. i work out the way i do things and the way i teach my clients so i always tell them my job is to make your life easier not complicated your life is already pretty complicated you have your boss yelling at you you have your wife screaming at you you have your parents who are not proud of you you're paying emis every month and month your life is already pretty complicated why do i want to add another complication of counting rice like a dork ah 50 grams of rice <laughs> like a dork i never did that i never did that so what i came up with i came up with something which i work on the basis of assumptions and not assumptions estimates so round figures so let's say if somebody is here to lose weight right everybody knows that to lose weight you need to cut down on your rice and stuff right now i can tell you that count your rice and everything but what i do is whatever your existing serving is take it into half remove it you already you have already removed the half of the part right half of the carbs is gone from there so how are you not losing weight if you don't lose weight it means that the amount of food that i have already reduced from your diet it wasn't sufficient enough in the first place reduce it more right and then we go into the details okay what is it that is actually not working for you and then we come up with an with a game plan okay this is not what what is working for you because not counting calories is such a practical way of looking at things like because i also personally feel that when you start counting calories you'll go mad you can count it for 2 days 10 days 15 days you cannot count your calories forever uh you in, see in the beginning it's very important for you to have an understanding about all this because if you don't understand what you're getting into then you don't you can't you can't progress in it right so i am at a stage right now i still don't know what how many calories i eat but if i have to break it down i, I know what food has what calories because i'm a professional right but i don't know how many calories i'm eating i don't know how much protein i'm eating is it like an internal mental calculation like i said i work on estimates i've already done all the mental cal- all the calculation <laughs> which i had to do in the first 3 4 months and then i got settled i like hatao isko ye isme itna detail mein uske fayda nahi hai there are more important things in life Absolutely. why are you want to waste to waste your time on just counting your food like a dork don't you want to don't you want to live your life don't you want to have have friends girlfriends make money drive all these cars that you want everybody wants that and what are you doing you're counting your food <laughs> how stupid is that but what about supplements then like you know with food nowadays the supplement market yeah. is exploding for, right mm. from shilajit mm-hmm. to uh, omega 3 to what not mm-hmm. right do you support these kinds of supplements so i only believe in three or four supplements uh, first is whey protein whey protein that too because it makes your life a lot more easier because me see as a person i am let's say 74 somewhere right there 
my protein requirement would be 145 150 somewhere around that de- depending on my activity levels i'm pretty active throughout the day now consuming 150 grams of protein just through food it's a lot so if you have 10 egg whites 10 egg whites you're just going to get 40 grams and if you uh, if you have one scoop of whey protein you're just going to get 25 grams so it just makes it more easier it's not necessary for you but it makes your life easier uh, when it comes to your protein requirement and stuff coming to the next supplement i believe creatine is something everybody should be using because creatine is something which your body just cannot make that much and i have personally felt the benefits everybody i suggest uh, use creatine every i use creatine that's my i rate it higher than whey protein so if you have some money don't waste it on whey protein invest it on a creatine creatine is the cheapest supplement available in the market 500 600 500 600 rupees it will it'll last you for a month maybe and you're going to get jacked It's you know i just want to say something on creatine because i'm in the clinical research field creatine is actually the most research yes. supplement in the world yes. it is it has a high safety profile since the 1960s and most people know it but there is one common question which i also want to ask you is that um, like you know a lot of uh, people ask ki can i take creatine even if i'm not working out what mm. like what is your opinion on that if even if you're not working out you're still playing sports it, you have to do some sort of physical activity you can't be just sitting on the couch and i'll take creatine no that does it doesn't work like that if you're playing sports some let's say high intensity sports or into sprinting so let me just get into oh, sorry let me just get into the science of creatine a little bit so what happens is our body has these things called adenosine triphosphate right so what it is it's like a battery cell in our body right so now more number of batteries more number the more charge you have right the more hard you can go what creatine does is your body is already creating atp right so what creatine does is it increases the, uh, the uh, increases the production of atp inside your body it just gives you that extra boost so if you're sprinting let's say your max is let's say 15 seconds you can maybe sprint for 5 seconds extra if you're playing sports if your max is let's say in 30 minutes you get tired uh, you can play for let's say 5 minutes extra if you're at the gym you are able to lift more weights you are able to last a little more longer and you know don't take it in the wrong sense <laughs> but uh, yeah creatine does help provided you are physically active and you're doing some some sort of high intensity activity but is there a time when you should take cre- creatine like in the morning or evening or f- no, before no food there's no time there's no time, there's no time. You can like take you can just day. fix one time and keep taking creatine yeah. you can just fix it but just make sure that you are doing all the necessities that needs to be done with creatine just like your water intake should be good your diet should be good your training should be as as hard because you're using the creatine so you need to use it to the full potential right. if you're driving a ferrari and you drive it like a maruti no point right, right. you need to drive it like a ferrari right only then you're going to use the benefits of a ferrari so we spoke about whey protein and creatine any other supplement that you think mm. one can start in the health journey uh multivitamins and fish oil supplements these two i believe are a must i if i take them myself and why i do that multivitamin c vitamins are, um, are like micronutrients right if you have to f- get one particular micro you have to have a lot of range of food items in your diet right and it's not possible kisi mein kuch hai kisi mein kuch hai kon baith ke itna matha mari karega kis mein kya hai kis mein kya hai kaam dhanda karo na ye sab mein kya matha matha mari kar raha to just take a capsule you're done a good quality capsule which has everything so i take let's say a to z gold that works for me i get all the nutrients that i want नाउ जो न्यूट्रिएंट मे बी इसमें है शायद कोई एक फूड आइटम से आ रहा है बट आई एम डैम श्योर कोई ना कोई एक न्यूट्रिएंट होगा जो इसमें से आ रहा है बट मेरा फूड में से नहीं आ रहा है तो इट ऑल बैलेंस इज आउट कमिंग टू ओमेगा थ्री वॉट दिस डज इज इट इज फॉर योर हार्ट हेल्थ फॉर योर जॉइंट हेल्थ सिंस यू आर ऑलरेडी वेरी एक्टिव यूर जम्पिंग रनिंग डूइंग ऑल दिस वेट लिफ्टिंग स्टफ इट जस्ट कीप्स इट जस्ट कीप्स योर जॉइंट्स वेरी हेल्थी सो इट इंक्रीज द लॉन्जेविटी so <clears throat> ketan i want to talk about a specific supplement since you are here it is in rage nowadays like everyone in the country is making it it's like every brand is making it and every brand is promoting it as a ancient ayurvedic cure for all men and that is shilajit what is your opinion on shilajit it's a scam and i'll tell you why you take shilajit you don't have the you don't have the energy to work 16 hours in a day i work 16 hours every day for the past one year i've been doing that i've never took shilajit in my life what are you doing by taking shilajit you you still don't have as as many muscles as i do you still don't lift the kind of weights i do then what did you do by taking shilajit all these influencers I'll, i'll i'll tell you right here right now i have been getting a lot of you know brand offers from these shilajit making companies they've offered me you can't even imagine the kind of money i've been offered six figure deals for one video 
I could have sold my soul and I could have done it. But I'm not that guy. All these influencers, these guys are just making money, and they just want to promote it just because they're making money, and money blinds people. That's the problem, and that is why the all of these people are just promoting it. You tell me, if you take a pill, right? Let's say you, uh, okay. So, what does Shila Ji do? What does it claim to do? It claims to boost your testosterone levels, right? What does testosterone do? Build, help you build more muscles. Okay, that's the physical aspect. But let's talk about the mental and the internal aspect. Makes you more confident as a man, right? It's only found in men. So it makes you more confident as a man, more competent. Uh, makes you more hardworking, more courageous, more daring, and you're able to do stuff which you fear, right? You imagine, you take a pill right now. You have a fear of public speaking, right? You can't t- you can't talk in front of five hundred people. You go at the backstage. I give you this pill. Go and talk. Can you do it? Of course not. It doesn't make any sense. So all these marketing, it, it's all marketing gimmicks. I've been doing this for nine years. I never needed anything like that. So how are these people, young guys? They need Shila Ji. I'm 26 years old with a broken bone inside me. <laughs> I have a plate. I can still lift more than you without taking any Shila Ji. So what's the whole point of it? But what was your journey like? Like I know you, you were in an accident, right? Yes. What was your personal journey? Like? Uh, so last year I had an accident. I had a bike accident. I broke my pelvic bone. So in the beginning I didn't really know what it was, but then I knew something was broken because I am a person who is, I can take pain. I can endure pain. That's what I've been doing for a living. I eat pain for breakfast. So what happened? I was lying flat on the road, blood everywhere here and there, and I was like, "Okay, something is wrong. Okay, something is wrong today because it's not it's not the usual pain." So then I went. I was admitted to a hospital. I had my X-ray done, and the doctor told me that eighty percent of your pelvic bone has cracked. The pelvic bone is a big chunk. Eighty percent of it cracked, and I was in the hospital for a week. I had a I had a surgery done. I had a plate, eight screws, six month bed rest, and during that bed rest, I was like very confused. Like I didn't know what needs to be done. and then i'm seeing my parents like they are you know doing all the work for me because pr- practically i'm i can't do anything right i felt very bad ki is umar mein mere ko apna maa baap ka seva karna hai abhi wo log mera seva kar rahe hain what kind of a son am i so i was like ki okay uh now i can't go to the gym okay what can i do i i just i'm logical person like i i i i think of life like chess okay what can i do what is the best move right now if i want i can cry and sob that's not me that's not who i am right so what i decided okay uh i can't go to the gym i can still make some money on the internet i i genuinely wanted to make money and uh us time pe ye ek aapka in, in boom hua tha all these millionaire uh, influencers like showing all their you know bugattis and lambos and, and i was like yeah i want this life i genuinely want this life so then i was like okay how do i start so then i thought okay if there are people who are on the internet making so much money I'm not that stupid. Come on, I personally believe I'm not that stupid. I'm not the smartest guy, but I'm not that stupid. Cat, if they can do it, I can do it too. If I was able to build my body, I'm pretty sure I can do this. So I started one company. It failed. Got conned by my business partner. Started another company. Failed again. And then thirdly, I stumbled upon this idea, which I've been doing for like a my pocket money. And I was like, you know what? Let's scale this. Let's do this on a uh, on a professional level. So then I started this journey. And at that time, I think I didn't had much money in my bank account. So I was like, okay, let's start this. See how, who will see it? See, now what are you doing? Because you are sitting like this. So then I started, and right now I just grind hard, man. And I remember the doctors also told me that you won't be able to start walking before September, October, and forget the gym before next year February. I was like, you forget me. <laughs> you forget me. I'm not. I'm not like other people. He was like, yeah, 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 whatever. And then I started walking in, I think June. In June, July, he gave me a walker. I was like, fuck this. हटाओ इसको ये नहीं चाहिए हमको हम वॉकर हटा दो दिन चला वॉकर में फेंक दिया हम वॉकर में भाग फालतू चीज है ये आई स्टार्टेड वॉकिंग आई वाज लाइक आई कूडेंट इवन वॉक स्ट्रेट बट देन आई वाज रियली पुशिंग माय सेल्फ ऑल्दो इट वाज हर्टिंग ओवर हियर बट आई लाइक मैन आई हैव टू पुश थ्रू दिस आई हैव टू पुश थ्रू दिस एंड देन आफ्टर दैट आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग आउट एंड देन आई गॉट माय फिजिक बैक सो इट्स लाइक बट हाउ डू यू अचीव दैट काइंड ऑफ माइंडसेट आई मीन मोस्ट पीपल वुड गिव अप इन दैट सिचुएशन आइदर यू गिव अप और योर ड्रीम्स आर गोइंग टू गिव अप ऑन यू व्हाट इज मोर इंपोर्टेंट टू यू right now how you feel or your dreams for me my dreams are very important i don't care if i'm dying right now my dreams are more important i, I it doesn't matter i have had sleepless nights i have had i've gone like 3 days without any sleep because i had so much work to do and i was like no sorry i have to do this sleep can wait although I, i i'm guilty of this i'm a fitness coach but this is i'm guilty of it sometimes these times come when you have to make a hard choice you have to think about things like okay is it me or is it my dream 
no it's my dream sorry i can't i can't live with this i don't want to live my life in regret i just have one regret in my life that back then when i was in school i used to be a professional basketball player i used to be very good at it and i had an opportunity to go nationals represent on a very big stage and then i was like exam hai so wo mera ek life mein regret hai aaj tak ab to umar nikal gaya but uske baad mere ko aur koi regret nahi karna to mere liye jo hai aaj hai abhi hai mere ko jo karna hai abhi karna hai main kal ka nahi sochta utna no but that's amazing i mean just to have that kind of level of uh, inspiration to go that far but you know in even in exercise right like in your journey like how did you start like like do you do a mix of uh, cardio and uh, weight training or is it just like you started with weight training all together no so what i did was when i started i had no idea right i had no idea but then i wasn't as arrogant as these young kids are these young kids think that they know everything i what i what i knew that i don't know jack shit about this this thing right now i straight up went to the gym i don't i don't want to do things at home because i know ghar mein kuch nahi hone wala i went to the gym over there i saw all these people i got overwhelmed now what i did was i went and talked to them what should i do i talked to hundreds of people hundreds of people with hundreds of different ideas hundreds of different perceptions and then from there i started experimenting new and new things okay isne aaj ye bola aaj main ye karunga isne meko kal ye bola kal main ye karunga parso ye karu aise karte karte aapko khud pata chal jayega ab wo karna kya abhi dekho problem ye hota hai na ki aadmi abhi apna business chalu bhi nahi kiya hai aur wo abhi se hiring ka sochne lag jata hai tum chalu to karo तुम क्या कर रहे हो पहले वो तो करो पहले भाई दो रुपया तो लेके आओ अकाउंट में उसके बाद ना तुम हायरिंग करोगे अभी से ही हायरिंग का चालू अब हायरिंग कैसे करेंगे अरे भाई पहुंचो तो पहले उस लेवल पे पहले जिम तो जाओ एक्सरसाइज तो करो तो मैंने वही किया एंड एवरीबॉडी टोल्ड मी दैट सो आई आई डिड अलॉट ऑफ मिस्टेक्स इन द बिगिनिंग बट देन आई नेवर टोल्ड एनी बडी की वॉट यू डू वॉट यू सेंग मी इज रॉन्ग नो बिकॉज दिस गाइज नो मोर देन मी दिस गाइज हैव द रिजल्ट दैट आई वॉन्ट आई लिसन टू दैम नो ई गो नो एरोगेंस ओके वॉट एवर यू गोइंट टू अगर आप मेरे को बोलते हो अगर आपकी बॉडी होती उस जगह पे अगर मैं जब आठ नौ साल पहले अगर मैं जिम में आ रहा हूँ आप एकदम मुस्टंडे से हो मैं आपके पास आया कि बॉस मेरे को बताओ कैसे करना आप अगर मेरे को बोलते हो इफ यू सीरियस नॉट जोकिंग इफ यू सीरियस यू सीरियसली टेल मी अपना सर के बल खड़ा हो जाओ मैं खड़ा हो जाऊंगा मैं आपसे बैठ के आर्ग्यू नहीं करूंगा क्योंकि आपको पता है आपको शायद मे बी मेरे को स्टूपिड लग रहा हो बट दैट इज द रीजन वाई यू देर एंड आई एम हियर सो इट्स नो पॉइंट मी कॉलिंग यू स्टूपिड आई एम दन स्टूपिड यू एफ एम नॉट लिस्निंग टू यू दिस इज वन प्रॉब्लम दिस इज वन मिस्टेक वेर पीपल गो रॉन्ग टूडे Ketan no, Ketan you're like the David Goggins of India. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm not David Goggins I'm Ketan Ahuja. Are wah. No, absolutely. <laughs> so Ketan a common question that you know a lot of people have hmm. is cardio versus weightlifting. Okay. Like what is your take on that? Okay so cardio and weightlifting are two different things right? Cardio weightlifting is for your muscles and for your character. Cardio is for your cardiovascular health, your heart health right? don't mix both of these thing you need to do both these things right in the beginning it's very important it doesn't matter what your goal is it if it's to lose weight if it's to gain weight you should be doing both these things right even if you build a lot of muscles it's of no use if your heart runs out if your heart stops pumping the blood you're done you're done for body you're gone bye bye tata bye bye motam mein milenge tumhara seedha right so <laughs> starting mein what i believe get used to the movements there is no need for you to go beast mode right from day one i i deadlift 260 kilos i wasn't able to do that on day one What I did was like uh, I think I'm I'm doing this series on Instagram where I teach I say in every video weights right now is not a priority. We've just completed three weeks in that series, and I say in every video weights are not a priority right now. Your main priority should be the movements, should be the the fundamental of the movement. If you can't do a movement properly, you're not able to progress in it, right? So getting used to the movements is very important. Right in the first two weeks, three weeks, it's very important for you to perform at only your sixty percent. If anybody, my clients when they join me, I never tell them to go beast mode. वो सब बाद में. It can wait because you have to do this for a long time, right? You just start. Like I said, starting is very important. Okay, getting the perfect plan that's fine, but starting is way more important than that. You can sit over here, Google for nine hours, ten hours, do all the research that you want. It's of no use unless you actually do anything in the real world, right? Even walking for ten minutes is much better than just researching for nine hours. You feel me where I'm coming from? So just start, operate at fifty, sixty percent of your capacity. Do both these things. So first, you should be doing some weights, uh, your weightlifting session. After that, you should be doing cardio. Why? Why we do this is because if you do cardio in the beginning, you're going to waste a lot of energy. You won't be able to lift as heavy and perform at your optimal capacity in your weightlifting sessions. After your weightlifting sessions, if you're doing cardio, the whole point is to just burn some calories, right? 
you can just do that anyway so you walk for an hour you're going to burn let's say 100 200 whatever calories now if you burn these calories before your workout you can't wor- you can't work out with high intensity so what you're saying is that first is resistance training yes. and then it is cardio yes. and what about people who are at home like i said do do some body weight exercises uh, in most of the cases you can do but let's say you are somebody who's on the extreme side of the scale on the right side which is the fat side and on the left side which is the Scary underweight side, side. if you are on the extremes of the scale you can't do any of it right so it's very important it's very wise that you try a little bit try something and get a pair of dumbbells maybe mm-hmm. one pair of dumbbells not that expensive it will cost you let's say how much i, I don't even know 2000 3000 yeah. how much is that you spend it on a dinner you go on a date you pay for the you pay for the entire date that's how much you're spending you can't spend that much on yourself you're a loser <laughs> you don't even prioritize your own self yeah that's true so just invest in one pair of dumbbells what you need to do i'll help you if you want some help you come to me i'll tell you i won't even charge for it i'll tell you what needs to be done no problem just start that's very good advice ketan because um, i saw one of your videos and i loved that video and that video was about effort versus technique okay and i really want uh, the listeners to know this right here in this podcast like mm-hmm. what is your opinion on effort versus technique okay so as everything is advancing these days so right now i love the fact that everybody is getting into fitness and everybody is want to wanting to become a coach and these days there are a lot of certification courses as well actually i have something to say about per, about these certification courses as well which i'll come to in a bit uh coming to your question effort versus technique abhi everything is advancing there are a lot more techniques a lot more fundamentals applications right now which existed which lot more than what existed 9 years back when i started us time pe bahut limited tha knowledge aaj ke date pe har aadmi influencer ban ke baitha hai us time pe nahi tha main genuinely bata raha hu bahut mushkil se koi dhanka genuine banda milta tha india mein koi nahi tha नौ साल पहले जब मैंने यूट्यूब खोला था सब रिसर्च करने के लिए इंडिया में मेरे को मेरे को बाहर से खोजना पड़ता था राइट बट वन थिंग इज दैट द मेन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ गेटिंग रिजल्ट्स एंड ट्रेनिंग एंड डूइंग वॉट एवर इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट ट्रेनिंग डूइंग वॉट एवर विच इज रिमार्केबल इन नेचर विच इज विच हैज वैल्यू फर्स्टली इट इट इज टफ राइट इफ इट्स समथिंग रिमार्केबल इन नेचर यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट द फैक्ट दैट इट इज टफ इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू ईजी बिल्डिंग अ बिजनेस इज टफ maintaining a relationship is tough because it is valuable in nature right so how can you do all of these things without effort you can learn all like i said you can learn all the techniques and i think i put a caption in that video as well which you're talking about a guy who is 10 on 10 in efforts but 6 on 10 in technique is going to beat the guy who is 10 on 10 on technique but 6 on 10 on effort absolutely that's me when i started i had no technique i didn't know but i was always willing to learn and I was always all in into this. I want to be the best. And with time if you are really serious about this, you're going to master the techniques as well. But I think this is fabulous advice Ketan because you know there are so many youngsters out there who are l- listening to these uh, Instagram influencers and all they want to do is focus on like you know the perfect technique, the perfect form when they forget the effort that needs to be put and they give up easily yeah. if they feel like the technique yes. is not perfecting yes. and everything yes. no but that's his fabulous advice i, I feel. appreciate it but you know you were you just spoke about these certifications and i know they have become also very popular like you know but uh, you just said that uh, i know it's controversial for you to say maybe it might be an unpopular opinion but you know let's just say it out loud for the okay. listeners so i'll i'll say I'll, i might get in trouble but uh, okay i'll sit here right here right now and i'll say maximum of these coaches these days they don't deserve to be coaches not because i have anything against them i really appreciate and i love the fact that everybody is you know really putting their heart into so and learning into these things but somewhere down the line these certification courses are also at fault they are also to be blamed here because see this this doesn't used to happen back then when i started if you go to a gym right now 9 out of 10 trainers you're going to see who are not in good shape but they have the certification right mm. now what happens is these guys these certifications are just for 3 months 5 months right these guys have a total experience of 3 months 5 months they start working out and they get into the certification courses by the time they are done with the certification courses they just have 5 months of experience right now how much can you learn in 5 months i personally believe jaise ki ek iim mein hota hai you need i couldn't crack iim right i am not made for it so you there is an eligible uh, there is a criteria 99.9 percentile in C in CAT, whatever. Only then you are eligible to apply for it, and then you are allowed to give you to give give your money to them, right? But in this, in certification courses, this is not the case. 
a person with zero skill uh, zero experience can come and get a certificate in 5 months how are you becoming a coach in 5 months if you don't have personal experience for at least a one year i believe that these certification courses that these companies are giving out they should be having a minimum a criteria of let's say if not one year at least 6 months or 8 months you first show me the results of 6 months and 8 months only then i'm going to allow you to enroll yourself into my course but there must be some course i mean okay i agree that large number of certifications are false but there's so many you know young health coaches who might be listening to you right now i mean is there some certification you feel that does justice in india no see i i i think you get you got me wrong i am not saying that the certification courses are wrong they okay. give you the right value they teach you a lot of things right the problem is fitness is not theoretical it's 90% practical how are you going to learn these things if you don't have the practical implications with you right so what happens is right now you're going to see a coach who's sitting on instagram oh your form is wrong this that if you were a genuine coach you would have known that a person is doing this for 3 years 4 years 5 years his body is used to that it's not a wrong so i'll give you an example uh, have you heard about the player uh, you know lebron james yes he's an nba player right so i saw one of his videos where he was squatting okay he was doing half squats You know what a half squat is, right? Mm. He was doing half squats. The ninety degrees one, right? Not ninety degrees. Less than ninety. Less degree. than ninety degrees, right? Okay. Half squats. All these, uh, uh, you know, all these fitness coaches. I saw the comments on LeBron James's video. He's doing wrong. He's doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's a professional NBA player. He is paying millions to his coaches, and you think that you know more than that guy. So what happens is these guys don't know the whole thing. Now I'll tell you why he was doing that. Why he was doing that is because. it increases the vertical so how uh, how do you jump do you squat fully or do you squat half squat half. you squat half and then you generate the power to jump that is exactly what he was doing that is exactly what he was training for but since these coaches don't have the experience they don't have a wide perspective and that is why they can't they're not able to help people and they do certifications they become so rigid with their approaches no you have to do it this way only my way is right. i've seen this in gyms only my way is right trainers compete against each other Okay, whatever he told you is wrong. One trainer is saying I'm right, the other trainer say he's wrong, I'm right. But you know, since you mentioned this, I just want to get into a slightly more controversial issue, and that is steroids. Okay. Because, uh, like you know, sometimes it is unreal how so many celebrities go from this to this mm -hmm. in six months. Mm -hmm. It just seems unbelievable. Okay. You know, there are people who are training for years mm -hmm. and like have that mindset for years, mm -hmm. like working four hours a day to get to a you know the correct shape. What is your opinion on steroid use by trainers in India or celebrities in general? Okay, so when it comes to celebrities, let me break this down for you. Let when it comes to celebrities, first you have to understand these guys are not living your life; they are working for a film, right? And if that film demands them to get into shape, they have to do it, no matter what, right? Now, all you also have to understand that these guys, these guys are so bloody rich; they have access to the best chemicals in the world. the best uh, people who can uh, advise them on steroid use which is the best compound these guys work with the world's best coaches these guys are good don't compare yourself with them they have a different purpose coming to the regular steroid usage i don't have anything against steroid use you want you take it no problem but here's the catch don't take it if you're not into competitive bodybuilding if you're into comp this is the dark side of bodybuilding i'll sit here right now and right yeah. here i'll say i'll say you're on the camera Bodybuilding is a very dark sport. All these people you see on stage, these guys are not healthy. These guys are so fragile from inside. If I slap them, they're gonna fall down. These guys are so fragile. They don't drink water for three days. They don't eat salt, right? It's it's just a beauty pageant competition, right? That's all that it is. Now I'm not taking away anything from the hard work that these guys put in. Immense number of hard, immense amount of hard work, immense amount of dedication and discipline that these guys have. But these guys have a different purpose. you on the other hand you just want to build a body to impress that girl who is not even into you what are you doing by taking steroids there's no point in that right you want to work you want to have a job you want to have a decent body you can do that naturally it just takes some time uh ketan i have a second question on steroids since we were talking about steroids and that is like you know so many youngsters nowadays they look at these gym bodies these celebrity bodies with 8 pack 10 pack 16 pack and you know mostly i mean Okay I'm maybe I'm assuming that most of them are using some form of steroids yeah. right <clears throat> but most youngsters don't know that 
I mean, you and I are educated, so we know that maybe probably they're using something. But you know, most masses don't know. Like, how do they start changing that image? Do you feel sometimes that maybe some celebrities or some trainers should be public about the fact that they use these things to bodybuild? Okay, so there, the you can't expect anything from the celebrities, right? These guys just operate for money. You can't uh, nothing personal against them, but inka profession hai ye. Ye kuch bol bhi nahi sakte is baare mein. But when it comes to fitness influencers, there are a lot of people who are public about this, and I respect them. Because, like I told you, bodybuilding is a dark sport. You need steroids. If you are competing with ten other people who everybody is on steroids, how can you win? You play to win. Simple as that, right? So there are people who are public about this, and I really appreciate and respect them. I I do follow them, and there are a lot of people I know it for a fact. They're injecting steroids, but they're not public. They're like I'm natural. I'm mm. natural. So what happens is people have this false expectation that my body exact way to be made. People fail to understand that everybody's body is very different. आपका जेनेटिक्स अलग है आपका जो कॉम्पोजिशन है बॉडी का वो अलग है आपकी बॉडी बहुत अलग वे में रिस्पॉन्ड और रिएक्ट करती है किसी का बॉडी बहुत जल्दी रिस्पॉन्ड करता है किसी का बॉडी बहुत स्लोली रिस्पॉन्ड करता है मेरे पास भी काफी सारे क्लाइंट्स हैं किसी किसी को यू नो दस किलो लूज करने में दो महीना लग जाता है किसी किसी को दस किलो लूज करने में पांच महीना भी लग जाता है टोटली डिपेंड ऑन द बॉडी हर किसी का बॉडी का शेप बहुत अलग होता है मसल का शेप बहुत अलग होता है राइट तो यू कैंट बी फिक्सेटेड कि ऐसी ही बॉडी चाहिए मेरे को येस यू कैन हैव you can have a borderline structure ki okay i want to be lean have abs this that that's fine but when you start exactly picturing yourself this is the exact body i want then you go wrong you know then you fuck up and if you think that uh, to all the people who think that i can't build a natural body look at me i'm the living example over you're sitting in front of you i've been working out for 9 years not a joke and i've done this i've achieved this so if i can do this why can't you is it is it's not because i'm god's favorite child I'm God blesses me as much as He blesses you. It's just that I work hard and you don't work hard. That's the only difference. Absolutely. So, but um, like people who use steroids, like you said, it is there is a dark side to yes. it. Yes. Like, do you think long term it is bad for them? Obviously, it is. But do you think it's addictive? Like, because if I see myself in a certain way, I mm-hmm. would want to be look mm-hmm. like that all the mm-hmm. time. It's not addictive physically, but it's addictive mentally and psychologically. See what happens is, and I experienced this myself. So what happened is when I was in that bed rest, uh, I lost like 15 kilos, right? In six months, like that. That that was like six, seven years of my hard work. Just boom, vanish. Next time when I entered the gym, now that I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I cannot look at myself. I'm like, how the fuck am I looking like this? It plays, it plays with you mentally. It fucks you up mentally. So this is what steroid does. Once you're on a cycle. then you wash everything out you have a pct and everything you wash everything out from your body your body starts to lose all that muscle mass that you've built right not everything but let's say you lose uh, 60% of what you've built right so when you are left with 40% now you can't live with it you tell me i'm talking about money if you go from making you let's say right now you're making 50000 in a month and the next month you make 70 70 grams wouldn't that make you happy come the ne- come the next month you make 50 grams again how would that make you feel you would feel worse Then the first month of you making fifty thousand, right? Because you're used to making seventy grand right now. Now you obviously want to make more. So this is the psychological effect. It goes on and it on goes and on, on and on. It's it's very addictive mentally. And th- see, if you look at professional bodybuilders, they don't compete over the age of thirty five. You won't see anybody at the age of forty, fifty is competing on stage because these guys, these guys are professionals. These guys are not stupid, stupid asses that they're injecting their body without any knowledge. They know what they're doing, and they're very smart. So what these guys do is. they work hard for a few years inject they win some competitions get their market presence become famous withdraw from the competitions and start selling something else and start making money they withdraw from it these guys are smart they don't want to do this for a long time because see what happens is with steroids what happens is it just increases the size of your organs so there was this one bodybuilder who died uh, just uh, maybe ek do saal pehle i'm not going to take any names so an average heart size is 300 grams this guy's heart size was 600 grams double you ever seen bodybuilders who have abs but a belly you know why that belly is because these guys have organs organs bada ho gaya unka steroid use se organs hi bada ho gaya to kya karega usme 
Okay, I didn't know this. This is the this is the thing. This this is why these guys don't play over the age of thirty five. Like there are so many pictures of these American yes. bodybuilders who gold gym and chipka yes. chipka ke rakhte the. Yes. Aapne dekha abs ke upar. Ha, abs jaise nikla hai na. I used to feel ki aisa kya muscle nikal gaya ba. Ha, yehi reason hai. Intestine, intestine, sab andar se bada ho gaya. Khatam hai. Organ hi khatam ho gaya pura. But uh, if you don't mind, uh, like, jo is steroid ka cycle that you spoke about. How does it actually work? Like, is it an oral tablet or is it like an injection no, that so, you have to take every twenty-one days? Okay, so see, I have no never used it, so I can't talk about talk from experience, right? Mm-hmm. But from what I know, is that these guys they work up a good cycle, or that's okay. Maybe six weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks, twelve 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 weeks, depends on which cycle they are are they on a cutting cycle are they on a bulking cycle it depends on that depends on the usage depends on the person depends on the dosage as well now i can't go into the detail because i've never used it so i don't really know from experience so what happens is uh, once these guys complete their cycle they have to wash it they have to wash it away so that's called a post cycle therapy pct so once you wash all the steroids out then your body also loses all the muscles so basically uh, i was doing some research mm. on steroids mm. and uh, i read that uh, you know when steroids are basically testosterone injections T- testosterone is the base. base you have other compounds as well okay yes. like like uh like i'll take a few names so you know there's stanazol there's you know, proxendrol stana okay there's trenbolone then there's uh, then there's deca and t- test is the base right testosterone with, is the base, base. with a uh, added with molecule that, yeah you inject all of these c- compounds depending on your goal if you're bulking or cutting so yeah, i was reading this research and it said that you know when you take these injections for a longer period of time you lose your fertility yeah and that you lose your own ability yeah. to have children maybe yeah. right but you know these bodybuilders and these people who are in this competition mm. once they stop all this right mm. they might lose a muscle but do they regain their fertility back again i mean do you have any idea in that regard so see these uh, firstly indian bodybuilders and the compounds that you get in india and the compounds you get outside in the uh, in the western countries bodybuilding is a culture in india it's not a culture it's a uh, whatever it's not a culture it's a sport it's a sport right? it's it's not a culture over there the kind of the quality of these uh, these drugs that you get absolutely top notch quality absolutely top notch quality and over there there is a lot more clarity people actually know about this there are coaches who know about this thing in india there are not a lot of coaches who exactly know what needs to be done apne khud ek cycle karenge sabko sabko laga denge right coming to your question or see I'll, i'll explain you the you know the psychology that body works so our body is naturally very lazy subah uthne ka kisi ko mann nahi karta body naturally kaam nahi karna chahta theek hai so agar aap aapka body testosterone bana raha hai body mehnat kar raha hai aap का बॉडी जितना बना रहा है आप उसे दस गुना ज्यादा लेबोरेटरी से बना के दस गुना इंजेक्ट कर रहे हो एक बार घुसाओगे आपका बॉडी बोलेगा बाहर से आ रहा है हम क्यों मेहनत करें इट्स जस्ट लाइक पैसे इनकम आपके अकाउंट में बैठे बैठे अगर पैसा आ रहा है आप क्यों काम करोगे आप खुद बोलोगे भाई मेरे पास पैसा आ रहा हम यही इसी को और बढ़ाएंगे राइट सो वंस यू इंजेक्ट योर बॉडी हैज स्टॉप मेकिंग टेस्ट योर बॉडी हैज स्टॉप मेकिंग नेचुरल टेस्टोस्ट्रोन अब जब आप स्टॉप करोगे आपका बॉडी को वो वापस से शुरू करना पड़ेगा प्रोसेस राइट एक दो बार में प्रॉब्लम नहीं होता है लेकिन जब आप ओवर द इयर्स आप कर रहे हो ऑन ऑफ बॉडी बार बार ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ किए जा रहा है बॉडी का सिस्टम खराब हो जाता है बॉडी बंद काम करना बंद कर देगा बोलेगा हमसे और हो नहीं रहा हम बुढ़े हो गए अब <laughs> हमसे हो नहीं रहा है और तो यही सीन है फेयर नफ दैट्स ट्रू एंड दिस इज द रीजन वाई आई टोल्ड यू दिस बॉडी बिल्डर्स आर वेरी स्मार्ट पीपल थिंक दे आर स्टू पेड दे आर वेरी स्मार्ट दे वर्क इन अ वेरी प्लान वे मैंने आपको बोला ना ये लोग तीस पैंतीस के बाद खेलते नहीं है यही रीजन है ये लोग नहीं खेलते हैं कि बचपन में जितना करना है कर लो उसके हाँ, बाद क्यों करना है हमको क्यों अपना लाइफ का हमको अपना वो करना है यू फील मी राइट फेयर नफ सो आई नो यू आर केतन आहूजा एंड लाइक यू नो यू आर योर ओन इंस्पिरेशन बट इज देर अ सेलिब्रिटी दैट यू एडमायर दैट यू नो यू रियली फील दैट ही इज रियली मेड समथिंग गुड आउट ऑफ हिमसेल्फ आई एडमायर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल बट आई डोंट आईडल आई डोंट आइडलाइज एनी बडी वट हैपन्स इज इफ यू आई सी आई एम अ पर्सन आई फॉलो सम I take the good. I discard from. The, I discard the bad. Nobody is God. I am not God. I might have some flaws of my own. Might have some. The other person whom I am following, he might has his own flaws. I just take the good thing. I discard the bad thing. When it comes to celebrities, I look up to a lot of celebrities, like The Rock, uh, like you mentioned, David Goggins, <laughs> and uh, Ronaldo, Cristiano, Virat Kohli, and Kobe Bryant. I was a mentee. So this, although he doesn't know I exist, but I learned basketball because of him. 
Oh, yeah. I w- used to watch his videos and I used to practice in the at 5 a.m. in the morning because that's what he told. He said to wake up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. in the morning. I wanted to become like him. I started waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I started playing for five. Then I had I uh, Rithik Roshan. I really look up to that guy. He's a very hardworking person. Then Amir Khan. When it comes to the kind of perfectionist that he is, he wants everything to be perfect, and that's what, something I really look up to and I try to inculcate in my work as well. No, fair so, enough. Yeah. But you know, now just moving ahead with this topic, I want to come into a fun segment okay. where I want to show you some uh, body figures, mm-hmm. and I want you to tell us whether you know you think that's a drug body or okay. steroid body okay. or a you know Natural. natty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know. Okay. So I think let's begin with the first fun, and that's Amir Khan from Dangal. natural pretty natural to me because he has been working out for a long time and just because he put on weight and he lost in such a less time doesn't doesn't make any difference because muscle memory so do you feel like it is possible to go from that kind of weight to that kind of fitness in 6 to 8 months 10 months it depends on your history this guy has been working out for years you if you're talking about some random dude 120 kilos you haven't been <laughs> been to the gym you don't have any muscles to begin with and like i mentioned when you have muscles you have a lot of leverage so it's muscle memory your body responds very quickly if you gain fat so fast and you have muscles you can just get on a diet you lose everything very fast not a problem at all so going by the looks of his body i think it's pretty natural and now my favorite so do you think rithik roshan has put on the screen like he do you think he is natural absolutely or? natural absolutely absolutely natural, absolutely natural. And i'll tell you why he's been working out for years now more than 20 years and you also have to take into consideration with whom these guys work with i'm a coach these guys work with the world's best coaches his coach i think is chris gethen one of the top coaches in the world so you also have to take that into consideration and trust me what you see on screen that doesn't exist in reality so when these guys have a shoot these guys will do a prep right salt check water check and all that stuff pump up the muscles come on the shot have good lighting and stuff look ripped and big and like hercules and then when you see them off screen you'll see it doesn't exist in reality i've seen rithik roshan in person he's very lean he's maybe smaller than me oh really he's not that big so like i said when you pump up your muscles and you, you, you go on stage you have spotlights and everywhere good lighting you look very different and it's the same with influencers as well they know how they know the perfect angle they know the perfect lighting that's how they look like that in pictures fair they enough look like that in reality so ketan we were just talking about celebrities and you know thinking about celebrities the first thing that comes to my mind is that these people travel so much yeah. like you know and in general also there's so many people who are traveling a lot how do they start maintaining their health or can they train also regularly so uh, two very different situations firstly if you are a normal guy secondly if you're a celebrity and you're super rich if you're super rich you carry your own team with you you and if you are somebody like me you carry tiffin boxes <laughs> that's the thing right you have your personal chef you have your personal trainer you have your personal equipment wherever you go you have five access to a five star gym everything right so for them it's not a problem it's not a problem at all but when it comes to normal people who have a lot of traveling to do so okay this uh, i charge i charge for this but uh, i have a set of travel guidelines for people so to, again two situations first is if you're traveling for work that's more frequent if you're traveling for leisure so if you're traveling for leisure i say let loose man pura saal gym karega ek hafta do hafta ghoom bhi liya to kya ho jayega yaar and if you're traveling for work then over over there i become a little stricter i say ki okay if you're traveling for work you probably will be eating from outside in your hotel so i have a set of guidelines ki okay do this in your breakfast do this in this do this in that and uh, if you don't have access to a gym you can do this in your hotel room or let's say you have a resistance band and with the resistance band you can do this 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 and if you have a hotel you have a hotel gym it's not it's not like a commercial gym so okay these are the exercises which you can do and let's say i tell my clients that i have a pilot on board so you know how how hectic these guys are right always six days in a week outside home so these guys have get access from hotel to hotel the jumping and every hotel has a very different gym so what i what i do is i tell them to record a video and send it to me so on the basis of that i make a temporary plan next new hotel new plan so this is how we go you know but when people travel also uh, this is something that i've always wanted to ask mm-hmm. like where do you place drinking smoking and all these vices mm-hmm. uh, in a general health of a person like while not just while working but in a general way also okay so when it comes to drinking smoking or any any form of intoxicants whatever any any drug soft drug hard drug whatever a puff a a drop it's not at all healthy i'm not going to sit here and say you red wine is this whiskey is that you can find articles 
ah, I'm drinking whiskey, whiskey does this, red wine, grape wine, this, that. It's all bullshit. It's not at all good for you. It's alcohol, it's smoke, it's nicotine. It's, it's not good for you. But again, at the same time, if the whole world listens to me, the whole world would be in a very different place, right? So what I would suggest is, even if you do do these things, try to cut them off slowly but gradually. You can't you can't go cold turkey all in one go. I mean, unless you're me, you're not, right? So you can't go cold turkey. Try to reduce it. So let's say if you're right now, you're smoking six, seven cigarettes in a day. Try to get it down by to four. Then the next week, you try to go to three, then two, then one, and then you gradually stop. On the other hand, when it comes to drinking, since drinking is not something which people do every day, once in a week, I would say once in a week is very bad. Very, very bad. Because see what happens is you don't drink in moderation. Nobody drinks in moderation. Who in this world sits here and just goes one peg or two pegs and I'm done? Aadha nasha hota hai usme. Sorry for my language, but wahi si na. Aadha nasha hota hai. Aadha nasha kisi ko nahi achcha lagta. Ya to pura karo ya kuch mat karo. Thik hai, I also drink. But what happens is when you get drunk, you waste, you end up wasting two, three, uh, two, three days, right? You're completely fucked from inside. Your body is not working properly. You don't have the energy. Your mind is not working right. It's all foggy. Your cognitive functions are not working well. So what I do is I just drink. Let's. Abhi to maine chhod diya. Abhi to main pichla ek do saal se maine daru ko hath nahi lagaya. But jab pehle pita tha, to main teen pane mein ek bar pita tha. And us time ek bar pita tha to all in. Fir koi control nahi hai. Wo ab main bola na aadha nasha mere se hota nahi hai wo. Fir main rukta nahi tha. And uske baad do teen din agar mera bekar ho bhi raha hai, to kya hai? Teen char mahina mein ek bar to ho raha hai yar. Kya farak padta hai? just a bad day at the office <laughs> right so that's what i believe that's what i think people should be you know taking these things like this but again i'm not promoting anything it's not at all good for your health and if you're doing it you're doing it at your own risk baad mein mat bol dena ketan mein ko bola aisa kar main isliye kar raha hai right so this is what i believe no absolutely i completely agree with your point ki matlab ki people who want to lose should slowly decline yes. and then because yeah. you know cold turkey for a lot of people might give them a lot of withdrawal symptoms also yes withdrawal symptoms does exist and what happens is that uh you can't do that all in one go right aap wo kar hi nahi sakte wo possible hi nahi hai aapke liye ye aapko dekho main again main sabko yahi batata hu apne clients ko main yahi batata hu ki instagram mein sunne sunane mein acha lagta hai logo ko ki bhai main bahut fancy diet follow kar raha hu अब मैं गो हार्ट गो होम वाला मेंटेलिटी है बट वो प्रैक्टिकल नहीं है तुमको लाइफ जीना है प्रैक्टिकल हो गया वो इंटरनेट पे कोई एक आदमी बोल दिया आई रन 800 माइल्स इट्स नॉट प्रैक्टिकल आई मीन कम ऑन बी रियलिटी रियलिस्टिक इन योर लाइफ सो दिस इज द अप्रोच आई थिंक यू शुड बी टेकिंग ग्रेजुअली बट स्लोली एंड वॉट हैपन्स इज इफ यू आर यंग यू योर बॉडी इज गोइंग टू गेट अवे विद अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स राइट वेन यू आर माई एज ट्वेंटी सिक्स आई कैन स्टिल फील इट वैन आई वॉज एटीन एंड आई एम ट्वेंटी सिक्स राइट नाउ आई कैन स्टिल फील द डिफरेंस 26 में मेरा बॉडी का प्रोसेस काफी स्लो हो गया कंपेयर टू व्हेन आई वाज 18 राइट नॉट नॉट लाइक यू आई एम स्टिल मच बेटर देन यू बट व्हेन आई वाज 18 एंड व्हेन राइट नाउ व्हेन आई एम 26 लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैव चेंज एंड फॉर अ फैक्ट आई नो व्हेन आई क्रॉस द एज ऑफ 30 थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू चेंज सो राइट नाउ द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ माय फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ईटिंग जंक फूड लेट्स से आई ईट वंस इन एवरी 2 वीक्स ये मेरे को और कम करना पड़ेगा तो एज भी एक फैक्टर है यू हैव टू लुक एट एज आल्सो तो अगर आप अभी इफ यू आर स्मोकिंग वन पैक इन अ डे एंड यू आर 20 25 यू वोंट हैव एनीथिंग wait till you're 35 reality will hit you hard and then you'll come to me please change me sir <laughs> <laughs> no that's true but uh, ketan your story is so inspiring and we have a small you know live audience here yeah. and they all want to ask you one one question each okay sure so uh, hi ketan hi uh, so i want to know people who are working out young why are they passing away like there are there's like a sudden news of someone getting a heart attack who's absolutely fit Mm-hmm. doing the right thing eating healthy working out why is this happening nowadays so see there are a lot of factors involved into it firstly you have to see if they are abusing any drug or not and like i said abusing and not using so even if you're eating healthy and you're abusing it you're still in the wrong path right let's say protein shakes are good for your health right protein is good for your health but if you abuse it if you eat let's say 300 gram 400 gram 500 grams of protein your body is not going to respond well Secondly you need to understand and know your body well like i said in the beginning you don't go all in and you really need to know your body how much your body can take how much you can actually push your mind and your body needs to be aligned together right if my mind is strong but i am on the bed i want to lift some weights i am going to injure myself that's stupidity right so you need to know what your what the limitations of your body has you condition your body to become a better version and from there you level up this is one mistake i think what people do they don't know the limit they just go they just see your people on this instagram and stuff that i am going to be the next david goggins no you're not you're a dork 
So basically, you should listen to your body. You should listen to your body. Yes. So I had a question. Hi, yes. Lisa. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I had a question about so the hormonal balance and how it impacts a person's journey towards fitness. What are your thoughts on that? Um. So see, this is something very subjective. It depends from individual to individual. Everybody has a very like I said. Everybody's body is very different. The hormonal shifts are very different. So now I am. Uh, I I don't really have my speciality in in this aspect which you're talking about. So I I don't think I'm the right answer to give you an advice on that. What I would suggest is you go show a doctor and you try all lot of things. Only then you're going to stumble upon something which is going to work for you. This is one advice I can give you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi Ketan. Hi. So like, uh, according to you, uh, which one is more which one is a more difficult journey, losing weight or gaining losing weight or gaining weight? Like that's a very good question. Okay. What do you think is more remarkable, gaining weight or losing weight? Mm, like for me, I would like to gain weight. Right. So for you, it's remarkable. Yeah. For a fat person, it's remarkable for him to lose weight. Both of these things are tough. Both of these things are equally tough. You, for you, it might be a struggle to eat a lot of food. For him, it might be a struggle to not eat a lot of food. Everybody has their own struggles, and people think whatever I'm struggling is the best struggle in the world. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Everybody has their own struggles, so you can't really compare it. Both of them are equally difficult, I believe. As a foodie person, how do you balance out working out and cheat days? Okay, so when you initially start working out, I believe for the first one month or two months, you should be absolutely strict with it. You should be hard on yourself, and you should be really strict with this thing that no matter what, I'm not going to eat outside. No matter what, you have to stick with it. What what that will do is it will it will build discipline inside you. So let's say you have plain chicken and rice and your clean food and you have a burger and pizza. The whole intention and the whole motive to do that ki wo pizza ya burger deke mera muh nahi lalchana chahiye. That's the whole intention. Once you have control over your food, you're done. You're good for your entire lifetime. Nothing is going to control you. You control your temptations. The temptations don't control you. But uh, Keetan, thank you so much for coming. You appreciate have, it, man. Appreciate it. You have the most inspiring life, I, and I you. wish you all the best. And I thank hope you, you keep inspiring more and more people. I will. I will. Keetan, thank you so much for coming, and I hope I can call you back again. Yeah, it was. It was really great, man. It was really great. I had a great time, and this was a great podcast, man. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Yeah, thank you. Now, before we end, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Decodeage. Decodeage is India's first longevity research company aiming to increase the health span of people. The supplements and tests are based on the latest scientific breakthroughs in the field of longevity and aging science. The supplements they provide target the biological mechanisms that cause aging. For example, as we age, the NAD plus levels in our body decline, leading to mitochondrial dysfunction and genomic instability. Two main reasons for biological aging. And by supplementing with Decodeage's NMN, one can replenish the NAD levels in the body and tackle aging. At a cellular level, now there are numerous clinical trials and experiments indicating that NMN increases the health span of individuals who consume it. I take it myself, and it feels great. Apart from NMN, Decodage offers other longevity supplements like Spermidine, AKG, Pisetin, and Transresveratrol. If you want to start your healthy aging journey, then Decodage is the place to be. Do visit decodage.com and use my coupon code Anand to get a discount.